6 News. Welcome in everyone. New on the floor, doctors warning us about RSV cases growing across our area. In fact, some pediatricians telling us they were so busy with cases they were having trouble returning calls from other patients. So how bad is this problem and when should you call your doctor for help? Tristan Rupert is on your side getting those answers. Traditionally, RSV season runs between October and March, but District Medical Officer Wes Doublefield with the Alabama Department of Public Health tells me that it typically peaks around January. Still, the Department of Public Health monitors RSV cases with CDC data. We're starting to see, you know, visits for RSV infections going up, particularly in emergency rooms. Dr. Stubblefield says RSV is one of the most frustrating diseases that pediatricians have to deal with. It is a very large burden for our, our children's hospitals when RSV does, when it does peak. That is because there really isn't much doctors can do to treat RSV. As for what you can look out for to see if your child is sick with RSV, Dr. Stubblefield does have a warning. The biggest warning sign is 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 how they're breathing. Um, with RSV, um, the children will have uh, they'll have what's called wheezing, and uh, it's a it's an audible noise that comes when they're breathing. They're having to force air out of their lungs. Um, they all may also have uh, their their chest may rise and fall very rapidly, so they have rapid breathing. They have difficulty breathing. I also spoke with Alabama Pediatrics Dr. Brian Stansel. He says parents should trust their intuition when determining whether or not to bring their kids in. If your kid is sick with RSV, he says placing them nearby a humidifier, perhaps even placing saline drops in their nose or finding a way to clear out their nose can all be somewhat helpful. Reporting in Birmingham, Tristan Rupert, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your side. New on the